Outside of the spotlight of the U.S. military's most premier special operations forces lies a variety of units that tackle missions every bit as dangerous that are rarely talked about or recognized by the public. Home to one of these units is the United States Marine Corps. The Marines have built a fierce reputation worldwide for their deadly and strategic impact on the battlefield. But how do the Marines consistently pull off well-executed missions with the utmost precision? That answer only takes two words. Recon Marines. It's been said that no one really knows what recon does, unless you are a reconnaissance marine. As quite literally the eyes and ears of the Marine Corps, recon marines provide combatant commanders with the intelligence and surveillance they need to accomplish the mission at hand. While that sounds simple in theory, recon marines are much more complex than that. Within the reconnaissance community lies a unit specially trained to go deep behind enemy lines. This unit is officially known as Force Recon, where select recon marines are trained to do what is known as Deep Reconnaissance. But why do the recon marines have Force Recon? What does Force Recon do differently than Marine Recon? What's the point? And most importantly, why are these two assets so important to the Marine Corps? We're going to answer all those questions for you, and much more. This is Marine Recon vs. Force Recon. Before we dive into the finer details between Marine Recon and Force Recon, it's important we explain the big picture of Recon Marines as a whole. As we said before, Recon Marines are quite literally the eyes and ears of the Marine Corps. As a special infantry, they are tasked with conducting multi-domain reconnaissance for the ground combat elements in the Marine Corps. What this essentially means is that by methods of land, air, or sea, a Recon Marine will observe enemy activity and report any pertinent information back to combatant commanders. They are masters of getting eyes on, and the information they gather can range from defense positions, troop movements, logistical data, you name it. But gathering information is only one piece of the puzzle. The real trick is doing it without the enemy ever knowing they were there. In order to achieve the level of stealth that a recon marine possesses, they must learn to be proficient at infiltrating and exfiltrating the area of operations without leaving a trace. They infill and exfil by means of maritime, air, or ground elements. While conducting these operations, they maintain a low profile by creating hide sites to avoid detection by the enemy, and can pack up and move with the enemy being none the wiser. Not only are they useful for their stealth and tactical skill sets, they are also known for their lethality. Recon Marines conduct limited scale raids and ambushes, where they are proven to be a brutal and deadly fighting force that can pack a powerful punch on the enemy. In sum, Reconnaissance Marines are swift, silent, and deadly, which happens to be their motto. Who would have thought? But that's just the big picture. While everything we just mentioned applies to all recondos, on paper there are multiple nuances that separate Marine Recon, which we will call Division Recon from now on, from Force Recon. Let's define those for you. Division Recon consists of the Marine Recon Battalions, which support the Marine Division, hence the name Division Recon. There's four of these battalions, each located as shown on screen. Force Recon, on the other hand, are companies within some of these battalions. Instead of supporting the Marine Division, Force Recon supports the Marine Expeditionary Force, known as a MEF for short. Since Division Recon and Force Recon support different chains of command, each with their own objectives, their mission sets and skill sets reflect those objectives. One major difference between the role of Division and Force Recon is their level of reconnaissance. While all Recon Marines perform reconnaissance, Force Recon is meant to perform deep reconnaissance. What this means is that Force Recon is designed and trained to get deeper behind enemy lines closer to the enemy combatants and forces they are tasked to surveil on. Because they're closer to the enemy, Force Recon must possess the skills, know-how, and firepower to defend or attack the enemy in the event things go south. In fact, Force Recon operates so deep behind enemy lines that oftentimes they are not able to receive firepower support from artillery or naval gunfire support, which is unlike their Division Recon counterparts. Due to the increased probability of performing deep reconnaissance missions, it is not unusual for for Force Recon Marines to receive additional training and direct action. 
While Division Recon Marines receive plenty of training in this area to begin with, Force Recon is utilized more often for limited scale raids and assaults on the enemy. Despite extensive training in combatives, raids, and direct action, both Division Recon and Force Recon's primary purpose is to conduct reconnaissance. But here's the thing. While the differences between Force Recon and Division Recon are clearly defined on doctrine and paper, how both of these units operate day to day isn't so black and white. Present day, there are very few differences between a Recondo and a Recon Battalion and one in a Force Recon Company. As it currently stands, Division Recon and Force Recon pretty much do the same thing. Contrary to the past, there's no selection process or standard a Recon Marine needs to meet to get into a Force Platoon. While the reconnaissance community prefers to have its more experienced recondos make up the ranks of its force companies, it doesn't always have the luxury of manpower to do so. As a result, you can easily find inexperienced and even fresh out of BRC recon marines in a force recon platoon. If you're splitting hairs, you can say that force recon companies may receive extra opportunities for surveillance and reconnaissance training. Otherwise, all recon marines go through the same pipeline, which is boot camp, infantry training battalion, reconnaissance training and assessment program, Program, basic reconnaissance course, jump school, and most go to marine combat and dive school. After a recon marine completes their initial training, whether they report to a recon platoon or force recon platoon, they can get opportunities to attend schools such as sniper school, breacher school, JTAC, drone courses, seer school, dive supervisor, hearst master, tactical driving courses, and the recon team leaders course. Essentially, what we're trying to point out to you here is that if you're not looking at both of these units under a microscope, outside of the title, they're basically the same. At this point, you might be wondering why very few differences currently exist between Division Recon and Force Recon. After all, Force Recon used to perform their doctrinal mission we laid out to you previously. It consisted of Recondos who had earned their place after having multiple years of experience and deployments under their belts over at Division Recon. That all changed when MARSOC stood up in 2006. When the Marine Corps stood up MARSOC, they pulled a lot of Force Recon Marines over to the Marine Special Operations Battalions. This created a void of experienced Force Recon Marines and a shakeup of personnel. In an attempt to fill this void, the lines that once separated Force Recon from Division Recon would begin to shrink and blur. As a consequence, Force Recon would be reduced in size, and some of the companies were disbanded. Reconnaissance Marines had to try to find their place in the Marine Corps, and still are today. In fact, the Recon Marine mission, Force Recons included, is changing as we speak. The Marine Corps is currently undergoing a huge overhaul, known as Force Design 2030, which is an initiative by the Commandant of the Marine Corps to fundamentally transform the Marine Corps' ability to to engage in the future operating environment and counter threats posed by peer competitors. MOSs are being phased out, units are being disbanded, and mission sets are being changed. What this means is that the recon community today can be fundamentally different next year. So be on the lookout for these changes, especially if you're interested in joining this community. Division Recon or Force Recon, a recon marine is a recon marine. No matter what role a recon marine plays in the reconnaissance community, they are the tip of the spear of the United States Marine Corps. At the end of the day, Force Recon isn't better than traditional marine recon. They each play their purpose in supporting the Marine Corps and are valuable assets sets to have. If you ever see a recon marine, you know that they put in a lot of work to get where they are. If you're thinking of starting the journey yourself, you're gonna have to put in a lot of work too. One of the best things to help you work smarter, not harder, is by getting some good gear to help out your training. With rising prices everywhere, you gotta save money where you can. Well lucky for you, we're debuting our very own recon rucking kit over on our new website at gendischarge.com. Based on the official recon training gear list, our recon Recon Rucking Kit has what you need to get the ball rolling. A rucksack? Check. A rope? Check. Pig egg materials? Check. And there's more where that came from. Go to gendischarge.com and get yourself one today. Everyone gets three day free shipping and military, veterans, and first responders get a 15% discount. Again, that's gendischarge.com. Links in the description and pinned comment below. Well, that is the down and dirty of Marine Recon versus Force Recon. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even wanna be here?
A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.